I now invite Mr. Nirmal Parikh to speak on teacher training. Nirmal Parikh is an associate at Naman Integrated Management Services. Mr. Nirmal Parikh is a highly distinguished trainer with a rich experience of more than two decades, having conducted more than 3,000 training programs on a variety of subjects, including effective communication, public speaking and presentation skills, time management, leadership, team building. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome trainer par excellence, Nirmal Parikh. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's really a pleasure for me to be here and to be speaking to you. And when I'm standing in front of you, I go back almost by about 30 years in my life when I, as a retractor, used to run from club to club just to listen to our past Rotary International President, Kalyan Banerjee. Almost about 30 years back, late 70s and 80s, early 80s, and let me honestly accept and acknowledge today that what I am today, the foundation has been laid by Rotary International. My first lessons of leadership I learned in my life through Rotary when I got elected as DRR, District Rotary Representative in 3060 way back in 1982-83. Thank you Rotary for making me so confident and making me a good human being and I believe so. Well, uh, I would, uh, I mean, we have all been seated for quite some time and uh, I would uh, suggest an activity, uh, a small activity. All right, there are some digits here. I've just mentioned them uh, arbitrarily on the screen, uh, double nine, one, double nine, eight, one, zero and all that. You can see them, right? And uh, I just want to ask you a question. How many of us can memorize or remember these digits. There are four lines, eight in each, so 32 digits in less than one minute. How many of us can remember these digits in one, less than one minute and then you have to speak them out number by number, line by line. How many of us can do that? Can you raise your hands? None? Hey, hello, you, you can blacken, Abhi, you can blacken the screen, please. All right. If I give you more time, instead of one minute, I give you five minutes. How many of you can really say them out without looking at the digits, with your eyes closed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, wow, great. Round of applause for those uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but for those who did not raise their hands, I would like to tell you a story. Can we have the screen back, please? The same slide. The year was 99. The year before that was 1998. Ten of us went for a picnic. We went on 15th August. Holiday rehta hai. We went on 15th August in two Maruti 800 cars. We were driving at a speed of 75 kilometers per hour. The speed limit was 65 kilometers per hour. Policemen ne pakda bola 1500 rupiah fine baro. How much? 1500. But we in India are best negotiators even with the law. So five of them said, Are, pay only 800. The rest five said, no, no, pay only 600. <laughs> the basic philosophy, ladies and gentlemen here, is learning must be fun. If learning is not fun, there is no fun learning. And that is exactly the paradigm shift that I'm talking about today that the teachers of the 21st century must bring about in their pedagogical practices, in their learning and teaching practices, in their mindsets. Let me, let me uh, tell you that this ambitious project that we are talking about is, is, is something that really is... Abhi, would you mind doing the change of slides from there? Go to the previous... Yeah. Next slide, please. Yeah. The, the total literacy in South Asia by 2017 is a dream. Teach is a strategy. Rotary is a platform. You, ladies and gentlemen, are the dreamers with a passion to perform and achieve. Congratulations, you know, to Rotary International for having taken up this magnanimous project. 
is something that is mind boggling it is challenging it is uh, daring for rotary and i think for rotary it is mission possible but before i i say it is mission possible i would like to just give you couple of startling facts in india today there are it is estimated that there are 304 million illiterate people the last the, the census that was taken back taken way back in 1900 and uh, it was 1991 the rate of growth in literacy was about 12.36% it was again taken in 19 it was taken in 2011 in the last 10 years in 2011 it was almost 9% so if you consider rate of growth in literacy in this country it would be around 10% even if i double that and make it 20% because of the pace in education and the kind of technology that is made available to us even if it is 20% growth that we are going to achieve in the next 10 years 304 million people in this country will be reduced by 20% so it's almost about 60 million we will still have 240 million people who will be illiterate even if i consider the rate of growth in illiteracy as 20% now that is mind boggling and rotary has taken up this challenge of eradicating in the entire south asia the illiteracy in less than 5 years and that is magnanimous fantastic hats off to all of you because that is a, a mission that is really really difficult to achieve but i know if you could do that with polio you can easily do it with eradication of 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 illiteracy uh, i would like to show you a small film here yeah can we have the first video please You've seen this movie. Here. It's Mahobate. Let's have a clip. I'm sorry, sir. मुझे लगा शाम को स्टूडेंट्स अगर बाहर खुली हवा में रहेंगे तो उनकी दिन भर की थकान थोड़ी कम हो जाएगी. That's all. कल से लेकर आज तक दस और स्टूडेंट्स शामिल हो गए आपके साथ. Yes. Yes. एक ही दिन में बहुत कुछ कर लिया आपने. Thank you, sir. मैंने तो आपसे पहले ही कहा था, sir. कि music is such a wonderful. आपकी नौकरी पक्की, Mr. Aryan. ये रात का contract. इसे ध्यान से पढ़के sign कर दीजिए. Oh. Thank you, sir. थैंक यू वेरी मच मिस आर एन आज आप गुरुकुल का हिस्सा बनने जा रहे हैं जी सर मैं आपको कुछ समझाना चाहता हूं पच्चीस सालों से मैंने ये जगह परंपरा प्रतिष्ठा और अनुशासन से चलाई है पच्चीस सालों में यहां पर कोई भी चीज बदली नहीं है इसीलिए आज भी गुरुकुल की शान वैसे ही है जैसे पच्चीस साल पहले थी कल आपने कुछ कुर्सियों का ठिकाना बदला था परसों आप कुछ और बदलना चाहेंगे मुझे बदलती चीजें अच्छी नहीं लगती मिस्टर आर्यन मुझे किसी भी तरह का परिवर्तन पसंद नहीं आई डोंट लाइक चेंजेस मैं समझ गया सर गुरुकुल में आपका स्वागत है मिस्टर आर्यन थैंक यू सर पच्चीस सालों से यहां कोई चीज बदली नहीं कल तुमने कुछ कुर्सियों का ठिकाना बदला था परसों कुछ और बदल दोगे मुझे बदलती हुई चीजें पसंद नहीं मिस आर्यन आई डोंट लाइक चेंजेस आई थिंक दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम दैट वी हैव द डीप रूटेड माइंड सेट इट वॉज ब्यूटिफुली सेड बाय स्टीफन कोबे नथिंग फेल्स लाइक सक्सेस nothing ever fails like success and that is exactly what we see here yes that principal of gurukul was committed person he was successful he poured his blood sweat and energy into building an organization but still he does not want to change and 21st century learner has changed your son knows your mobile and your electronic gadgets much better than anybody else even you they are techno savvy they want knowledge they want to try their hands on the long knowledge and they want to find out how does it feel like when they apply the knowledge they are more interested in action and that is exactly what we are talking about writing down those 32 digits on a piece of paper and trying to memorize and converting the learning process in a fun oriented way is what we are talking about in 21st century teaching and learning processes 
and that is that is where education too has changed ladies and gentlemen the child today the education has to be child centric learner centric so far it used to be teacher centric whatever was given in the book was being read by the students the questions were being asked from the book and the pupils were expected to reply and respond in the examination today we are talking about holistic development today we are talking about about involvement and participation of children knowledge somebody has said previous speaker beautifully pravin ji said knowledge per se stand alone has no meaning gyan ka jab istemal hota hai to anubhav hota hai when knowledge there is an application of knowledge there is an experience experience leads to understanding understanding leads to wisdom lot of understandings together we lead to wisdom and that is exactly what we are talking about our children must have hands on practice and hands on action to test the knowledge that they have next now the point here is teaching is a normal profession is not only a profession it's a very noble profession and we need teachers who are loving committed passionate patient knowledgeable competent willing responsible and accountable these are the qualities i would like to why i would like you to see a video can we have that video please we are talking about change in education point here is the students who are learning the subjects in the second year of their studies that those what have they have learned will get outdated by the fourth year of their studies there's a kind of rate of change that is taking place in terms of knowledge and education today we used to take the the knowledge used to get doubled in more in less than in, in almost about 500 years earlier now it it happens in less than a year it's beautifully said by einstein if you keep doing the same thing and expect different result it is insanity if you keep doing the same thing and expect different result it is insanity in order to have that we have never had we must do things that we have never done and that is exactly where the paradigm shift must take place in terms of our teachers teachers must be must have two dimensions one is next slide please one is you know an ability to perform next ability which deals with knowledge experience and proficiency and willingness 
which talks about confidence, commitment and motivation. While we are all tuned to training people to enhance productivity, to do their task in a better way, our focus on their personality, their attitudes, their confidence, their motivation, their sense of responsibility and accountability is not there. And that's exactly where we will have to bring in transformation. Teachers must relate themselves to the entire developmental process of the organization. Teachers must have innovative practices. Teachers must be continuously updated. In the last about nine months, we have trained about 10,000 teachers and about 600 principals of CBSE schools across the country. And one finding that I would like to share with you, in rural India, more than 75% of the teachers do not have email accounts. They do not know how to gather knowledge from the Google search. And this is where I think we really need to bring about a paradigm shift. More about the teacher training and the strategies to do that in a breakaway session. But right now, I must only want say one thing, and that is the time has come for us to focus on teacher training because they are the ultimate to build our country's future. Thank you so much.